Join me as I dive into the crazy world of earwax and try to find out what's really hiding inside our ears. So, have you ever wondered what's really going on inside those two little organs on the sides of your head? You know, the ones that allow you to hear, but also get clogged with wax and occasionally hurt from an ear infection? Yeah, those ones. Today, we're going to uncover all the secrets that lie within. From the physical components that make up our ears to some surprising facts that'll make you go whoa, we're about to get up close and personal with our ears. So, let's talk about ear health for a second. We've all experienced earwax buildup at some point, right? It's like, you're doing your daily routine, and all of a sudden, you feel like your ears are plugged, and you can't hear a thing. Or maybe you've had an ear infection that left you in agony for days. And what about hearing loss? I mean, it's a pretty common issue that can be caused by a variety of factors, from loud noises to earwax buildup. The point is, ear health is something we often take for granted until something goes wrong. But the thing is, understanding what's inside our ears is crucial to preventing these issues from arising in the first place. Think about it, if you know how your ears function, you're more likely to take care of them, right? You'll be more careful about sticking Q-tips inside them or blasting music through your headphones. And that's exactly why we need to talk about ear health. It's not just about avoiding ear infections or hearing loss, it's about taking care of our overall well-being. Because, as you'll soon find out, our ears are connected to a lot more than just our hearing. So, let's start with the basics. Our ears are made up of three main parts, the outer ear, the middle ear, and the inner ear. The outer ear is the visible part that we can see, and it's responsible for collecting sound waves and directing them into the ear canal. The middle ear is where the magic happens, it's where the sound waves get converted into vibrations that our brain can understand. And the inner ear is where those vibrations get turned into electrical signals that are sent to our brain. It's a pretty complex process, but basically, our ears are like superheroes that allow us to perceive the world around us. But what about earwax? Is it really that important? And the answer is, yes. Earwax is like the guardian of our ears, protecting them from dirt, dust, and other foreign particles that could harm us. It's like a natural filter that keeps our ears clean and healthy. And the cool thing is, our ears are self-cleaning, meaning they can get rid of excess earwax on their own. So, the next time you're tempted to stick that Q-tip inside your ear, just remember, your ears are designed to take care of themselves. Now, let's talk about something that might blow your mind. Did you know that your ears can affect your overall health? It's true. Research has shown that there's a direct connection between ear health and our overall well-being. For example, ear infections can be a sign of a weakened immune system, and earwax buildup can be a sign of allergies or even hormonal imbalances. It's like our ears are trying to tell us something, and we need to listen. So, what's the most surprising fact about our ears? Well, in my opinion, it's the fact that our ears can actually affect our balance and posture. Yeah, you heard that right. The inner ear is responsible for helping us maintain our balance and spatial awareness, which is why people with inner ear problems often experience dizziness and vertigo. It's a pretty cool connection that shows just how interconnected our bodies really are. So, to recap, we've talked about the importance of ear health, the anatomy of our ears, and some surprising facts that'll make you think twice about your ears.